Section 4.4, build quadratic models from verbal descriptions and from data. All right, unfortunately, this section is word problems. And the good news is they involve quadratic functions and they're gonna be mostly straightforward except number one. But the whole idea here is that you will have some type of quadratic function to work with. And in these word problems, we are going to either be maximize, maximizing something or minimizing something. So since we have a quadratic function, uh, your parabola will either open up or it will open down. Okay, so if you have a, an upward opening parabola, that parabola is, parabola is going to have a minimum value. So in your word problem, if you're minimizing something, basically you're going to have a quadratic function or a parabola that opens upward and you just need to find the vertex, which is going to be the minimum point on the parabola to answer the question. Okay, on the flip side, if you're looking for a maximum in your problem, then you're going to have a, a, a parabola that opens downward. And again, all you have to do is find the vertex of the parabola because that's where the max point is on the parabola. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing with these word problems. You're going to either be maximizing or minimizing something. So it comes down to finding the vertex of your quadratic function slash parabola. Okay, so like I said, um, there's only a handful of word problems that we're going to look at. Number one is the toughest. The other, the other word problems should not be as bad. Okay, so let's start with the hardest one, get that out of the way. All right, here we go. Number one, a farmer with 4,000 meters of fencing wants to enclose a rectangular plot that borders on a river. If the farmer does not fence the side along the river, what is the largest area that can be enclosed? All right, so Pause the video if you need to, read through the problem as many times as you need to so that you have a good understanding of what's going on here. Okay, then resume the video. All right, when you have a word problem like this, it is a really good idea if you can draw out what is going on. Okay, so basically you've got this farmer who has 4,000 meters of fencing and his plan is to enclose a rectangular plot but that rectangular plot is bordering along a river, okay? And we it says that the farmer's not gonna fence the side along the river. All right, so if we draw this out, let's go ahead and say this is the river, okay? And there's no fencing going along this side, so that means we'll build the rectangular plot uh, using fencing along the other three sides, okay? So in doing so, uh, there is an assumption that we're going to make here. Okay, we're assuming that the farmer is going to use all 4,000 meters of fencing. So let me write that up here. We're assuming that farmer uses all 4,000 meters. Okay, like there's none left over. Okay, he's using exactly 4,000 meters of fencing. Okay. Um, so our goal here, okay, all of these problems are going to have a goal. The goal is to figure out what is the largest area that can be enclosed, okay? So the goal is to maximize the area, okay? So think about this, okay? He is trying to build a rectangular plot, okay? There's actually... A few ways you can do this if you just kind of draw this out like watch this okay um let's see let's do this say he builds I don't know something that looks like this okay so maybe like this and then this side has to be the same length and then we go across here okay so this is one way that we could form or the farmer can form a rectangular enclosure. Okay, like this, what I see in red. Um, it's kind of long, okay, uh, maybe not as wide, 
um, but he could certainly go some something like this. Okay, so maybe it it here it looks like this side is like this, and then this side is like this. These these parallel sides have to be the same length, and then we go we build the rectangle this way. Okay, or maybe he wants to be very long and narrow. Okay, so maybe he should build the enclosure this way. So there's all kinds of ways that a rectangle can be formed here. Okay, um, and again, when we're when I'm drawing this in, we're assuming that to make each of these enclosures, he's using exactly 4,000 meters of fencing. Okay, it's kind of like we're trying to figure out the configuration, you know, is it something like the green configuration or is it the red configuration or is it the black configuration? If you're using 4,000 meters in each case, which one's going to give you the largest area? Okay, that's what we're trying to figure out. What should the length and the width of this enclosure be so that you maximize your area while using the full 4,000 meters of fencing? Okay, that's what's going on here. Okay. All right, so here's the deal, okay? Um, I'm going to redraw this so that we just have a random configuration, okay? I want to keep this schematic here with all three configurations so you can remind yourself of what we're doing here. You know, there's so many different ways you could draw a rectangle in here. Um, we're just trying to figure out which one is going to give us the max area, okay? So I'm going to redraw this with just a random rectangle here okay so here's the river again okay and then let's just say he's going to build it like this okay so this side is here and then the side across has to be the same length okay and then here comes the other side to make the rectangle okay so this is what i'm going to draw on and label Okay, as we set this up and work it out. Okay. All right. So we don't even have an equation to work with yet. Okay. Um, you know, this is in the quadratic word problem section. Well, where's the quadratic equation that we're going to be working with? And the thing is, we got to build it. Okay. So remember I told you with these problems, we're either going to be maximizing or minimizing something. So clearly here, we're maximizing area. So somewhere along the line, we're going to have to have a parabola that opens downward, okay? Because we need a maximum, okay? So what we need to do here, okay, since we're maximizing the area, we need to come up with an area equation that is quadratic. and opens downward. Okay, that's what we have to do. There is no equation given to us. We've got to figure out what it is. Okay, we need, since we're maximizing the area function, it's the area function that needs to be a quadratic equation. And furthermore, for it to be a maximum, it needs to be a quadratic equation with a negative a value so that the parabola will open downward and then the high point on there will be the max okay so that's what we're after an area equation that you know is quadratic with a negative a value okay all right so let's just think one step at a time let's think about basic geometry okay we have the length of a rectangle, or sorry, we have the we have a rectangle here, and we need the area. Okay, so we know the area of a rectangle is just base times height, length times width, whatever you want to call it. Okay, but we need some variables here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, and you can use whatever letters you like. I'm going to call this side L for length, and I'm going to call this side W for width. Okay, so the farmer is going to be using L meters of fencing along this side, okay, W meters of fencing on this side, if you can see where my cursor is, and then this side is the same length as this side, okay, so we also need to label that with an L, okay. We need variables here. You've got to make your equation out of something, 
okay? The reason you need two different variables, L and W, is because this side that I've got marked with the little red dashes, it may not be the same side, size or length as this guy, okay? So we definitely need two different variables in case the length is not the same thing as the width, okay? It's possible that they're the same, but we don't know, okay? So that's how we're gonna label our sides, okay? And then, like I said, from geometry, we know that the area of this rectangle is just length times width or base times height, whatever you wanna call it, okay? Well, the problem here is this is our area equation and when I look at it, well, I don't see a quadratic at all. I don't see anything raised to the second power. And the other issue is that I see more than one variable. You know, when we're dealing with equations or functions, we always have like f of x equals x something, okay? I see L and I see W. I see two variables, okay? So while this equation is correct, it's still not in a format we can work with because there's more than one variable and uh, there's more than one variable and there's no quadratic. You don't see something squared in it. Okay, so we've got to kind of maneuver this to kind of get what we want. Okay, like I said, this is correct. Okay, we just got to kind of add to it. Okay, well, what else do we know? What else do we know? If we go back up to the problem, there is more information. Okay, this whole thing about the 4,000 meters of fencing. We've got to use that somewhere because the farmer is subject to this constraint. Okay, he's got to use exactly 4,000 meters of fencing to pull this off. Okay, so let's write down, you know, based on our diagram, how can we turn that into an equation? Okay, well, remember, look at this red side. Look where my cursor is and here. I can make it bigger. See where my cursor is? Along this side, the farmer is going to use L meters of fencing. Okay, and then watch my cursor along this side he's going to use W meters of fencing. Okay, so I'm going to take L and I'm going to add W. I'm writing down the total amount of fencing that he's using, okay? And then we've got one more side because remember this enclosure only has three sides essentially. So then this last side, he's also got to put exactly L meters of fencing, okay? So basically what I'm doing here, this equation was for area. This one is for perimeter. Okay, if you remember what perimeter is, it's the length all the way around or the distance all the way around an object. So here I'm just adding up the sides because that's how much fencing I'm going to need. Okay, so we're putting L meters of fencing on over here. We're putting W meters of fencing over here and then we're putting L meters of fencing again over here. Okay, that total amount of fencing must be 4,000. Okay, so stick with this. Okay, now I'm going to box this because this is another important step in the process here. Okay, so what good does this do? Well, let me show you. Okay, so this is a correct equation for the perimeter. But remember, we want an equation for area that is quadratic. Okay, this perimeter equation is going to help us get there. Okay, so let's take what we have, L plus W plus L equals 4,000. If you combine like terms, that's going to tell us that 2W, or sorry, 2L plus W is equal to 4,000. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I am going to solve for one of the variables. Okay, it doesn't matter if you solve for L or if you solve for W, but in my mind, it's easier to solve for W. Okay, so I'm going to move the 2L over. Okay, and like I said, it's perfectly fine to solve for W. Okay, W here is going to give you 4,000 minus 2L. Okay, so why in the world did I, did I do this? Well, what I'm going to do now is I am going to take this result and I'm going to go up to the area equation because that's what I'm trying to maneuver into a quadratic function with one variable. I'm going to go up to the area equation that I defined up here and I'm going to make a substitution. Okay, wherever I see W, I'm going to replace W with 4000 minus 2L. Okay, because we got that information based off of the perimeter. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, 
So let me go down here, okay? We had originally said that area is length times width, okay? So now I can make that substitution. Area is gonna be the length times the width. The width is the same thing as 4,000 minus 2L, okay? And this width, is it's got two terms, the 4,000 and the minus 2L. So I need to put a parentheses around it because in the next step, because this whole entire quantity in parentheses is the W, okay? And in the next step, the L is gonna have to be distributed there because length is multiplied by the entire width, okay? So once you do that, that tells you that the area, if you distribute, the area is 4,000 times L minus 2L squared. Boom, look what we have, okay? We have an area equation. It's got one variable, L, the W's gone, okay? And it's got an L squared, okay? So it's got one variable, L, and it's got an L squared, okay? So it's quadratic, okay? Um, it's one variable, okay? And furthermore, let's see if it opens up or down, okay? Um, I know it's a little weird here because we're working with L instead of X. Hey, if you are more comfortable with, with X, okay, at this point, just go out to the side and say, hey, I'm calling L X, okay? And look what we have, 4,000 X minus two X squared. Okay, if we arrange this, like we reorder it with descending powers of x, okay, I would put this piece first, so the negative 2x squared, and then this other piece, the 4,000x is positive. Okay, and look what we have, ax squared plus bx plus c, and you've got a negative a value, okay? So this is a quadratic function, and it's opening downward, so it's gonna have a max. Okay, all right, in order to find that maximum value, we've got to use the vertex formula. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. Okay, we've gotten the hard part done. We set up our quadratic function. That was the hardest part. Okay, so I'm coming over here. Okay, my area function is negative 2x squared plus 4,000x. Let me just make sure that's right. Yep. All right, so here we go. Okay, so this is what we're gonna work with going forward, okay? All right, to find the vertex here, okay? We need to do negative B over 2A, okay? So here, if we make the identifications, your A value is negative two, that's the number in front of X squared. B is the number in front of X, so it's 4,000. C is the constant, it's zero because there isn't one. So if we plug into this, we're gonna get negative 4,000 over two times A, which is negative two, okay? And so we're gonna get negative 4,000 over negative four, that's positive 1,000, okay? All right, so remember, that's X, okay? That's the value of X that's gonna cause us to get a maximum here, okay? Now remember, when you look at your little configuration up here, we don't have an X, we did everything with X, with L and W, but along the way, we said, hey, I'm gonna call L X, okay? So the L is the X value, so that just told us that this side is 1,000, okay? So also think of units. When you're doing word problems, you really wanna pay attention to units, okay? Um, remember, this is, on this side, you're putting L amount of fencing and how much fencing or what kind of fencing do you have? It's measured in meters. So this is gonna be, this side is gonna require 1,000 meters of fencing, okay? And then that tells you you know, the same thing has to apply on this side. If you see where my cursor is, this other side is also L meters long. So 1000 meters is gonna have to go over here, okay? All right, so we're almost there, okay? Remember, um, we labeled these two sides with L and we said the length may not be the same as the width, so we had to use a different variable over here. So now we just need to calculate the width, okay? There's a few different ways to do this, okay? Um, one thing you can do is you can go back to the perimeter equation, okay? So the perimeter equation, 
was basically L plus W plus L equals 4,000, okay? So now that we know that, here, let me highlight this, X or L, let me say that, let me put that here. This is the same thing as L, okay? So L equals 1,000, okay? So now I'm gonna return to the perimeter equation, okay? The perimeter equation was L plus W plus L is equal to 4,000. Now I can plug in the fact that L is 1,000, so I'm gonna get 1,000 plus W plus 1,000 is equal to 4,000. Okay, combine like terms. Okay, 1,000 plus 1,000 is 2,000 plus W is equal to 4,000. Okay, subtract 2,000 from both sides. Okay, this is gonna tell me that the W length, the width here is 2,000, okay? All right, so coming back up here, okay, we can go ahead and label that this side has to be 2,000 meters, okay? And those are the lengths, okay? If you add up all the lengths of the sides, 1,000 plus 2,000 plus 1,000, that's gonna total 4,000 meters of fencing, okay? So through all of our work, this is the configuration that's gonna give us the max area, okay? All right, let's go back to the question really quick. Okay, when you do these word problems, you absolutely have to make sure you're answering the question, okay? So read through the problem again. Usually the question is in the last sentence, okay? It says, if the farmer does not fence the side along the river, what is the largest area that can be enclosed? Okay, so you may have just said, oh, we're done. Uh, the length is 1,000 meters and the width is 2,000 meters, boom, I'm done. But the question is asking for the largest area, okay? So now that we know the dimensions that are going to yield the largest area, we have to go get the largest area, okay? So this took a lot of work. So let me figure out where I can actually put the maximum area. I'll do it over here, okay? So I'll put it in red. This is going to be the answer, okay? So the maximum area that can be... Um, enclosed. Okay, we know that the area is the length times the width. Okay, we said that the length is going to be 1,000 meters. And I'm actually going to put the units here when I do this. For, I'm doing this for a reason. I'll tell you after we get the number. And then we've got to multiply by the width. Okay, the width is 2,000 meters. Okay, so we're just multiplying the length and the width together so that we can get the area. Okay, so if you want, you can pop this number into the calculator. It's going to give you a big number. So we do 1,000 times 2,000. Whoops. Okay, so watch your zeros because there's zeros everywhere. Okay, so here we go. Here's our number. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need six zeros. Okay, so here we go. All right, so here we go. If I put some commas, it's more readable. Okay, so basically this is the area. 2 million, okay? We need units on this, okay? So remember the sides, the lengths, those were measured in meters. And when you compute area, look what I did. It's the length times the width. So you're doing meters times meters, okay? So this is meters squared, okay? So this is 2 million square meters, okay? That's what the M squared means, okay? I mean, think about it. When you talk about like the area of your apartment or your house. It's me measured in square feet. This is square meters, okay? So two million square meters, okay? That's the answer, okay? Because the question was asking for the largest area, okay? So the answer is two million square meters, but remember that is achieved from a length of 1,000 meters and a width of 2,000 meters.